Good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, folks. For the same, well, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm still here at Honington at Langford Farm. There is a review on the channel a bit further back. Uh, I'll put it on when I've got here. So this video won't be on probably till the first of the week in September. But uh, anyway, thumbs up to everybody. Uh, I'm going to into Honington now to uh, have a nose round. I did have an email off uh, one of the viewers, Alan. Hi, Alan. I uh, appreciate that email. It was nice that you know, what you said about your videos. So, uh, if if I know more than one person likes them, it makes it worthwhile, you know. But I do it mainly for myself to get me out and stuff. But it's nice that to be appreciated and know uh, that uh, some people get some enjoyment out of watching the videos. So uh, yeah, today's project is to uh, have a look uh, around Honington. I have already done a little bit yesterday on the day one video, but I'll try and uh, get some different spots today. So that's enough of me rattling on. Hi to everybody, new subscribers, old subscribers, anyone that watches, appreciate it. And we'll catch you later, folks. Follow me into Onnington. Come on, and you. Follow me, folks. Follow me. Hi, folks. I'm down uh, in Onnington. Uh, got the museum here. I think it's free to get in. That word free it goes a long way with me. Now, I'm not tight, but... Uh, I can save a bit of money, it's all good. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go and have a wander in. I've brought me 5D4. If I try and include that picture, if I remember. Um, with a wide angle lens on. So I'm doing a few bit of street photography while I'm down here. So come and join me, folks. Uh, I'm on my own. You know I'm a loner, not all the time, but I am today. So uh, next weekend I'm going to London on the Sunday with my son and my daughter. That should be good. So that's another story. Hopefully I'll put that video on. So let's go inside the museum, folks. Come on, join me off your seat. Don't run me down, my ears are burning. Follow me. Yeah, that reminds me, folks, of, uh, I've got to visit the dentist. Uh, I'm not looking forward to that, but that's another story. So I'm just inside. I'll put a face mask on. It's optional, but I decided to put one on. So just have a quick look around. This is like the gift shop here, I think. Looks nice. Let's have a look around, folks. Nice jacket over sort of there. Just going to do the quickest for there. Bit of information. Let's go in again. Bit trigger happy. So we've got a bit of information here, Jamie. The son in law might like to know it's about Manchester United. Yeah. information on what's in this cabinet here yeah so far so good folks it's a nice little museum so it's got a reflection here because it's in a case this it's about the uh, Arthur Bomber Harris, which is nice to see. There's a gallery here. I'll go around the other side and get a shot as well. Yeah, this is nice in here. I'll give you a bit of information from the top in a sec. bit of info there, I think it's to do with what's inside. Ceiling. 
Oh man, yeah. that ain't nice. Next stop after is Weatherspoons. I don't know if they've got a coffee grinder like that. There's some uh, stuff in here. Nice sharpener there. Flower linen press. That's not my bike. If anyone doesn't know, if they call these a penny farthing. So I'll just uh, zoom in a bit for a bit of information there, folks. Do with Honington Fair. Uh, thought it was my jacket in there for a minute, all my hat. Uh, yeah, just do a bit of a dolly shot along here as well. It's quite nice, the metal detecting club. That's what I found. They're looking for land to do metal detecting. Uh, £100 paid. So that's interesting if you've got a bit of land and you want the metal detectors on. Aerial view from the 60s of Honington. There. And uh, you don't look too happy up there. So, I said I'd do a shot from this side of this cabinet. It's a German bomb there, folks. So I'll just come back so you can get the size of it. That's a big, big boy, that is. Just to do with the Honington pottery folks, some lovely stuff in here, really nice. Uh, I've come round, and I'm not sure what this whole hornet's nest there. Similar to my clock in my lounge. That's uh, like a picture frame, there, keeps changing on that. Yeah, all looks good. Yeah, some old dolls stuff here, folks. Yeah. See the size of the chocolate bars there. Everything's a lot smaller there. Yeah, all nice to see, folks. Yeah, this is all to do with the Honington uh, clockmakers here, folks. Uh, again, he's not saying a lot just there, nor is his mate here as well. Good evening, good morning, or good afternoon. How are you? No. Don't want to speak to me. Just going to do a little pan round. Come up here, folks. Uh, yeah, there's another room to look round yet. I think this must be a former church. I will ask them when I go out. That's lovely, that. Glass. There, really nice. Aye, oh. Aye, oh. Just entering the Nicole Gallery, folks. Let's go and have a nose. I seem to recognise that face off the dating site. Still didn't get any replies. Aye, oh. Aye, oh. Yeah. So, a lot of. Uh, Poppies on the wall there, and uh, got some nice lace 
there. Looks really nice, so we'll carry on that end. It's bigger than I thought. This, uh, we've got some military stuff here. We're coming up now on the right. house here folks uh, just going to come down and uh, there's a nice little sign down there I love things like that so yeah looks great it's a nice Yeah, just doing a little pan downwards there, folks. These are all nice. Apparently some of them are replicas. But, uh, yeah, great. I my watering can go in here, but, ay oh, Son of a little shot down here. There's a German naval Admiral Cap there, and a German helmet. This has got all the German stuff in here. Aye, aye, he looks like he's looking at me. I'm just going to come down again, folks, here. Yeah, now this is the lace department, folks. Uh, not my cup of tea, but it's Obson's choice. So I'm going to give you a, a dolly shot round here. All looks good. Uh, yeah, it's great. It's been lovely to see uh, all this stuff in this museum. And so especially when it's free of charge, I will donate as I go out. Folks, hope you're enjoying the trip around the museum. It's been really nice. Some nice stuff here. Uh, sign there, the woman I love. But I've uh, got to find one first. Anyway, we'll carry on looking around. And there's me donation folks so if you do come in there's a box there you know it costs uh, uh, running costs of 36 pound 98 a day so there's a bit in there anyway so uh, yeah follow me folks follow me yeah so we've got the millwoods needles i've just done a video on the channel with the Needle Museum at Redditch and the uh, Millwoods are a big part of that and there's their needles here in this museum that's nice to see yeah hi folks uh, I just asked them, it used to be a church, um, they knocked part of it down apparently to build uh, another church behind me, but lovely place. Yeah, hi folks, that's the end of the tour of the museum, that was great, and I say the one thing I really liked, apart from seeing the needles from Redditch, Millwoods, was uh, I know there's a mannequin there, I recognise off the date, so that's another story. Apart from that, the staff 
were really friendly and helpful and that makes it for me it doesn't cost nothing to smile they were informative uh, it made the visit uh, extra special when people are like that anyway i'm going to carry on and have a walk around now folks so follow me follow me folks yeah hi folks uh, I'm not jealous, there's my electric bike to the right, but uh, there's my bike there. Uh, it's a 1200cc Bonneville. Um, it's made to sort of look a bit like the old one like I used to have. Well, I didn't have the Bonneville, but I, I put twin carbs on mine. Because in the middle there, where the starter motor is, that's where the magneto used to be. And uh, the way they've got the shape of the gearbox, makes it look like uh, it's a pre-unit and then to the left where it says Bonneville that's where the oil tank used to be where you put your oil in it so yeah it looks great it looks the, like carburetors on there it does it? yeah I was going to say yeah yeah it's not yeah it's yeah stupid. so the owner's there and he's just saying about the uh, uh, it looks like carburetors but uh, they're not so yeah, fantastic. Really like that. I'm just gonna have a nose down here, folks. I have done some video on the uh, main street on day one, so I'm not gonna do it again. So if you watch the other one, you can see the main street, but I didn't come down here, so just come for a nose. You've got super drug and that's the, a lot of the shops are closed that one there so let's carry on down folks and uh, have a look oh cancer research here yeah? i'm gonna have a nose in ah, yo. yeah this is the original factory shop folks it's always a good shop to have a nose in so let's go in follow me Hi folks, uh, yeah, sun's out now, I'm quite warm with my jacket on. This is a nice shop here, apparently, well it's, it's closed because it's bank holiday. I know my daughter Olivia likes the bucket apps and there's one there, she would like that but luckily she's not with me so that saved me some money. I don't like to buy stuff and think she might want it because the chances are she might say she don't like it but uh, yeah the original factory shop there it's pretty good uh, there was some bench work trousers I quite liked um, because you can put your knee protectors in which I like but uh, I haven't got my size so that was a waste of time but uh, yeah it's nice so I'm going to carry on walking around folks so we'll catch you in a bit follow me yeah, so this is lace walk folks uh, you've got Iceland here and uh, you've got the co-op up there so if you do come camping then uh, you can come and get your supplies here follow me information here um, well actually motorhomes can only park here between 8 and 10 p.m. so you can't park overnight it's 50p for 30 minutes pound an hour in other words so yeah it's quite a big car park here folks anyway so if you do come so I'm just going to have a little wander around now follow me Yeah, just a quick shot of the main street, folks. So I've done more filming on the uh, first day one video, so I'm not doing much of the street. Just to give you a little idea what's here. Hey, hi, folks. Uh, yeah, I'm enjoying the walk around. I just uh, saw Holland and Barris. If I remember, I'll include the picture. Uh, it's a lovely shop. It's an old like, curve window, which I, I like that. So I just took the picture and the woman come running out of the shop. What are you taking a picture of? I said, just the shop window. 
she said oh she thought I was taking a picture of her but I didn't see anyone but just the shop so uh, anyway she was all right once I told her but uh, people don't realize that when you're in the public uh, you can take a picture of pretty well anything I am sensible what I take photos of but uh, you know anyway Obson's choice I'm going to carry on to Weatherspoon now for a coffee I may have some lunch there yet yeah, so follow me folks follow me yeah just in Weatherspoon's folks and uh, having myself a coffee one or two cups follow me hi folks uh, cheers just in Weatherspoon's I'm in hot chocolate I'm just deciding what to have to eat it's been a nice walk round it's warmed up a bit now I've took my jacket off so thanks for joining me on the uh, little tour around folks I say part one has got more of uh, the shops than part two uh, I enjoyed the museum and uh, I've just sat, sat outside in the garden here in uh, weather soon I'll try and give you a little shot there's only a couple of people out here so catch you in a bit folks yeah just a quick shot here folks <laughs> I'm on my own pretty well anyway surprising uh, I've never seen Weatherspoon's quiet whether it's because it's a bank holiday Monday anyway follow me yeah hi folks I've headed back to the campsite but instead of pulling in I've gone on a little bike ride just drove down a, about a quarter of a mile turned a right I've come to this uh, farm and uh, see some cows here so I'll stop and say hello to them they look a bit nervous of me I think it's my ivies on the hill step back a little bit but uh, certainly nice to see them as I say I've said it before I always think of the nightclub I used to go when I see the cows I don't know why but that's another story follow me folks yeah I've just pulled up a bit closer yeah, lovely so you have to be a bit careful when you go in a field of cows especially if they've got calves this one's coming over to say hello how are you? Well, at least I've got to be someone to talk to because uh, it's been a bit quiet this morning. So, hi folks here. Thanks for joining me on this little cycle ride. What the hell am I doing talking to cows? Well, at least I've got to speak to someone, folks. It was very quiet in Hollington. I went to Weatherspoons and there was hardly anybody in there. It was quiet and... Uh, now it's nice to see these follow me follow the cows hi folks i'm now back at the campsite that was a nice little trip in to uh onington <laughs> i forgot the name of the place for a minute then brain dead sometimes yeah it was nice it was very quiet uh, obviously all the shops were shut but i had a little nose round i went to weatherspoons I was going to have something to eat but I had a cooked breakfast this morning and I weren't really feeling hungry so I thought there was no point because I try and eat healthy and only eat when I feel hungry I just don't want to you know put weight on so uh, and save a bit of money as well not that I'm tight well thanks for joining me on the uh, little tour around folks I'm going to finish the video now as usual don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't had that jab or shot have it stay safe because um, you know the uh, coronavirus hasn't gone away the government's let us out they give us the freedom you don't seem to see on the news anymore much about the covid like it was every night but it's still there so let's hope things improve anyway it's enough of me rattling on Thanks for watching folks, hi to the few new subscribers, appreciate that, 
let's get me up to a thousand and I'll be happy then or I'll do something special I don't know what <laughs> could be jumping in that river I don't know but I'll do something special when I get a thousand subscribers so uh, that's all for now folks thanks for watching catch you on the next video bye folks bye bye bye